How's it going everyone? BoboRail here, and today we have a brand new patch video for uh, this week's 1.21 Vigor update. This update is a lot less disappointing than the last one overall, and although this patch doesn't add any real content, so no new maps or guns or anything, it will still have some promising tweaks to gameplay and UI. It should be pretty helpful to most players, so let's get right into this. These are mostly shooting mechanic changes, so possible switches in the meta, potentially more of those lower tier guns could be seen, but nothing can be sure yet. So sadly, the holidays must come to an end, and with this update is the removal of the Christmas decorations around the map. So no more Santa. And then the most notable feature of this update is the changes to the iron sights. The main one being the Thompson, which has a much larger back aperture, as well as the slightly lower profile on its side fins. Both just give the user a little bit more visibility to track your targets. I like the Thompson iron sights now, they feel way better than the old ones, and with the new adjustments to the Thompson's horizontal recoil as well, the Thompson has started to become much more viable. Still not amazing, as a 7-shot kill is a pretty big difference, but it at least feels better than it did before. The next main sight adjustment is to the VZ-52, and it finally got a front sight. This small sliver of metal may seem insignificant, but when you're trying to line up headshots at long ranges, it really makes a difference. Love this, I hope we'll start seeing some more VZ-52s used, as I hardly ever see them in matches. On top of those, a few guns were nerfed slightly, for example, the AKM had a slight increase in recoil and uh, I believe slightly worse third person accuracy. I played with it a bit, honestly, this change barely, uh, it, it's still beast at close to mid range, and at longer ranges you're still going to be using single fire. So the only real noticeable nerf of this update was to the Suomi increasing its bullets to kill from 3 to 4 shots to the chest. This is notable, but absolutely needed as the Suomi was incredibly overpowered with a 3 shot kill. But beyond the adjustments to shooting, I'm happy to announce that it's far easier to level up now, as the number of points per level was decreased and the loot XP was increased. So, with previously being a 130 hour grind to complete the battle pass, has now been reduced to around 40 hours. This is to get to tier 50 by the way. Other than these, a lot of new bug fixes came with this. Uh, the list is very long and I'm not going to th run through all of them. I'll leave the link to the full patch notes down below. Uh, the main ones are being the map uh, that would stick to your character for Grontheim Valley and Brodolin Bridges, and the infamous unlootable bodies, when you couldn't loot someone who you killed because their body was in a bush. Both were fixed, and it feels pretty good now on any map. Uh, and so yeah, this has fixed most of the complaints from the pre-Christmas hotfix that basically just added... Uh, monetization that wasn't exactly the most favorable, uh, so that's all positive. Uh, there were many more bug fixes, and I didn't feel like going through all of them, so I hope you guys like this update. Honestly, it feels like what should have been the pre-Christmas patch, but to me, it just fixed a lot of the game-breaking issues, so I can't complain about a good patch. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you liked it, please leave a like, it's much appreciated, and I'd love to know your thoughts on this update as well. Thanks for watching, and hopefully I'll catch you in the next one.